we in private, but we damn close Ooh, you give me something I can pay for No angel, but you got a halo When it starts like this, I really wanna be right here I really wanna take you there definitely go to Tinashe hair we are sponsored today they sent me this wig this 360 lace frontal wig um it is 22 inches deep wave all the information as long as a code i think i'll have to you know save you guys some money will be in the description box below so make sure you check that out before after you're done watching this video make sure you guys watch the whole video because i definitely had fun playing with this hair it was amazing but i'm not gonna spoil too much uh yeah make sure y'all like comment and subscribe because we on the way to 50k um so i'm just gonna get right into the video all right you guys so this is the hair as you can see it's completely 360 it came with four combs and also adjustable strap in the bag it came with a little brochure with you know all the information on there so y'all definitely go follow them and a lot of good information about the hair. What I love, it actually came with some lashes, y'all. And spoiler alert, they were bomb. And of course, you know, the wig cap. This was the packaging, um, the hair right out of there. Just felt so good. Look at the density, it's so full. <laughs> so first, what you're gonna wanna do is just put your wig cap so what I'm doing here is just pushing my edges back because this is a frontal. I don't want it to like come through. And you know, you just spray it and lay it. Like I always say, use the blow dryer to make sure it's dry. In the back, since it is gonna be a closure type in the back, I did have to, you know, work with my BBs back there. So I'm just getting my makeup, you know, that matches my skin tone when I put the makeup on after. But just making that cap actually look like my scalp a little bit more. So next you want to do is try the wig on to make sure it fits. <laughs> Obviously it did not before I adjusted it in the back. So after picking it back up, I went ahead and adjusted it and it was a perfect fit. So next what you want to do is, you know, play around with it. See where you want your hairline to be with the wig. So that's just what I'm doing. Now on all, mostly all 360 closures, there's always those dotted lines on the side. And that is where you need to cut. And then I just mark where my ears are because that's where you're going to need to cut also. So you need to take the wig back off, go to those dotted lines and just cut them. And then from cutting those dotted lines, you're going to cut around the back of the 360 wig the part that will be the back of your hair and make sure to leave a little bit of lace so you're going to want to try the wig back on and make sure you know it fits on the back of your hair where you just cut and from then i just went ahead and start plucking the whole back of my head just to make it look more natural like you would pluck a front of a frontal So just try the wig back on again. Remember those lines that we just made from your ear, you're gonna wanna cut these now. You'll see now it'll be a perfect fit on your head behind your ear 
then you're going to want to go ahead and cut those two flaps that we just made off. All right, then you're gonna wanna put the wig back on and what I'm doing is I'm just braiding the baby hairs down so they don't get in the way while we cut the lace. So you're definitely gonna wanna cut the lace around the edges, make sure to be very careful. This does take some time. All right, so what I'm doing is just making sure the hairline is right with cutting the lace. all right for the next part where we're about to glue it down you're going to want to put the hair up because you are gluing it down around the whole head so you don't want that hair getting in the way so you know as i say spray down and lay down just like you would do um the wig cap i just sprayed it and then i put the closure on top when it got tacky and just dried it again to make sure it was really secure and i just continued to do that around the whole head All right, and once everything was secure, I started working on the baby hairs, which again, is completely optional however you want it. I always struggle with baby hairs, so I'm just gonna cut this part out. And once you're done, you're gonna try to put the hair in the ponytail to make sure it is secure. All right, you guys, so I did a little bit more plugging in things off camera. I'm still not finished. I'm going in, you know, finessing it a little bit, laying the baby hairs down. The thing is, I just want it to look as natural as possible. Like, I know, of course, me having, you know, 22 inch hair is not natural, but like, I want it to look as natural as possible. But I still love, like, exaggerated baby hairs. So, I mean, that's completely up to you. Obviously, if you have a closure, you don't have to put in baby hairs at all. You can, um, just slick it back and like if that's how you like it you probably will have to do some more plugging so that it looks more natural i think that looks good enough for me so as y'all can see the glue kind of turned it white a little bit so what i do is i get like this and go in with my color foundation and just make it blend more. You see like what a difference that makes just like that, literally. It makes it blend in with your skin. Also, because I didn't bleach the knots, I'm getting, oh shit, okay, that was too much. But I'm getting the spray that you spray inside your lace. I think it's called lace spray or something like that. But I don't have it right now, but I still want to do the video. So for now, this is what I'm using. And it's working pretty good. So after you have your edges laid and everything, let me just lay this over here. Just gonna wanna put your scarf on. And while I have my scarf on, y'all already know, if you watch my videos, I'm gonna do my makeup. And while I'm doing my makeup, I'm actually gonna try their lashes too, so you'll be able to see how that goes. beautiful anyway so this is um what it looks like after finishing all the plucking and baby hairs and everything y'all know it takes me a while with baby hairs um yeah so the next thing that i'm about to do is show you guys how different ways you can style your 360 frontal the 360 wig uh if you have maybe a frontal too without it being 360 in the back um 
a lot of these styles are just using this up here, different ways to use this up here. And some of them are using the whole hair. So you know it's definitely for frontals and it's also for 360 wigs. Make sure you keep watching to see a few different hairstyles that I do with this wig that I think are super cute and will most definitely look good on y'all, period. So I guess we're gonna make this be the first hairstyle. Let me make sure y'all can see. Second hairstyle I'm gonna be doing is a half up, half down ponytail. So right here it's a side and you can also make it a middle so I guess that's kind of two hairstyles in one. So I'm not sure what this is called, but you can either braid it or twist it if you're like in a rush and it makes for a cute hairstyle. You could definitely um, leave it like this and that could be a hairstyle as well. You know, if you want it to be a little bit more sophisticated, kind of slick it back and then that is another one. So this is just pretty simple. It's just a slick back ponytail. Alright you guys, so that's all the hairstyles that I have for this video. Um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Everything about this hair will be in the description box. Don't forget to notch your hair. Make sure y'all definitely go hit them up. Definitely go check them out. Follow them on all their social medias. It'll all be in the description box. Um, let me know how I did. Comment let me know how I did because it's my first time doing a 360 closure. So I did kind of struggle with it. But you know, I think we did okay. What you think? All right, but that's gonna be the end of this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I already said that, but anyways, I'm saying it again, so that means you gotta do it. We is at 42K, we on the road to 50K, period. So y'all definitely help me out. Make sure you watch my other videos because I do a wide range of different kind of content on here. I literally do everything. So make sure you do that. Bye.